Hello, in this video, let's look at the enhancements made to CMDB Explorer in version 2105. As a configuration manager, when you view a CI in Explorer, you can define the number of CIs that are shown in the graph and the levels that the CI displays. Under Configurations, go to Core Configurations and select CMDB UI Preferences. In Explorer Settings, set the number of levels that you want the CI to expand. Set a value to limit the number of CIs, and set a value to alert the user when the number of CIs in the graph exceeds this value. Save your settings. You can now view the CIs in Explorer according to your configuration preferences. If you are looking for a specific CI, enter the CI name in the Locate CIs field, and select the CI that you are looking for. The CIs that match the name, are highlighted in Explorer. Next, when you want to add the same relationship type between multiple CIs manually, select the relationship type the first time, enter the name, short description, and impact options if needed, and save the changes. In the subsequent relationships that you add, you don't have to select the relationship type once again. You can simply enter the name, short description, and impact options. To change the way the relationships are displayed, use the Layout option. Use the toggle key to choose between Linear and Curve options. Unclutter your Explorer view by removing CIs that you don't want to see. Click Drag Mode and switch to Select Mode. Select the CIs that you want to remove and click Remove CIs. This action removes the CIs only from the Explorer view and not from the dataset. Additionally, you can clear all the contents from the Explorer view and start over. But first, remember to promote any changes to the asset dataset. To clear the view, go to Signed in As, select the username, and click View. The contents of the Explorer view are cleared. To check the documentation for additional information and best practices. Thanks for watching. Watch more related videos about CMDB Explorer.